psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, can the work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, can the work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hi everyone, happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays. It is currently Thanksgiving here in America, the United States. And I am celebrating Thanksgiving alone with my cat this year. The first time I've ever celebrated Thanksgiving alone in my life. So it's kind of bittersweet, but it's also a time where I can really start creating my own traditions. And maybe this is what the holidays are going to look like moving forward after quarantine the virus you know situation so anyway thank you for being here uh this is currently going live on facebook so if you're watching this on facebook thank you all for being here make sure you comment make sure you like the video on facebook make sure you share um i'm trying to go live more often on facebook so i appreciate you all for being here with me on facebook once again, happy holidays. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will post this on YouTube later. And make sure you also hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll get all notifications every time I go live or upload a brand new video. If you would be interested in a reading from me, then check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Um, I am a psychic, an energy, energy channeler, and a tarot reader, and this is my website. Excuse me. Excuse me, it's the coffee. <laughs> So if you would be interested in the reading, then definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Um, you can go to the, well, first of all, you can schedule a reading with me via the Schedule Now button. It'll just take you right to my Schedule a City page, all right, um, where you can go to the Services section and book your reading with me and pick your time. You can also sign up for tarot classes with me if you would like as well, all right? Um, but also you can go straight to the store section and, uh, purchase your reading with me directly. Like I said, I am a psychic, an energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. So I can do a psychic tarot reading for you. I can do a birth chart reading for you. I also make scarves. I cut them and sew them myself and I make bracelets. I do candle work. I do candles as well. So if you would be interested in any of those things, definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Also, you can check out my accurate predictions. Um, you can also check out my reviews and testimonials as well. So double the whammy with that. Um, and I also have monthly subscription readings where you can pay for a monthly subscription to have a reading sent to you or set up a reading each month on my website. So there's many different options to choose from and I'm always expanding my brand lastly follow me on my twitch facebook instagram and tiktok at lamar townsend tarot that is my handle on all those platforms so um yeah so i am currently spending thanksgiving alone and i am actually fine with that you know um to prove to you i'm spending thanksgiving alone this is my thanksgiving at home alone outfit in quarantine Bam, bam, bam. Very comfortable. Very casual. All right. Um, but still cute, right? Still in season. And maybe this is going to be a part of my new tradition. Like, every year I have, like, an outfit. Like, I feel like this quarantine COVID time that we're in, it's really about creating new traditions for yourself for the holidays. The old ways are kind of dying, you know, the old ways of doing things are kind of, you know, like, no longer. So now it's time to create new ways of life for ourselves. 
that's what I feel. So, I don't know, I want to actually do a reading as well. So, I mean, if you, I don't know what you're doing right now, I'll get a drink, uh, some eggnog, some turkey, I don't know, I don't know what you do, some tofu turkey, but whatever, and just maybe sit down and let's kiki for a little bit, right? I'm going to burn some sage really quickly. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past readings. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on the virus and the holidays moving forward um, and what the holidays are going to look like moving forward. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Thank you for also just allowing me to see the truth. Thank you for speaking through me. And also thank you because I'm going to pull a card at the end of the reading. Thank you for, oh, I'm going to burn some more. Make sure you guys like the video, by the way. Thank you for your likes on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck when you pass reading. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. So what are the holidays going to look like moving forward now that we have COVID? <clears throat> I feel like they're going to be more small, more intimate. Um, I'm not going to say necessarily gone are the days of large, like, you know, the large family gatherings where the cousins fly in from all over the world and, you know, we, you know, everyone buys, you know, a big, I don't know, a big house for the weekend or goes to, you know, the rich, you know, side of town for the weekend, you know, the rich family's house for the weekend. It's, I like, it's, that's going to be a rarity. Like, that's going to be a once in a blue moon thing for I feel like a lot of families so I do feel like there's gonna be a restructuring I feel like it's gonna be more intimate I feel like gone are the days where maybe spending you know the holidays alone are you know aren't gonna be so bad you know um, it's going to be more acceptable more of almost the norm to have once again, like a small gathering for the holidays or just, you know, to maybe be alone for the holidays to do your own thing. You know, like there's the, there's the kind of individualism that comes with the holiday season moving forward from quarantine to quarantine COVID environment that we're currently in. So it's like you make your holiday what it is. Once again, it's setting new traditions. So it's like maybe for the last, you know, however many decades or years, it's like the tradition has been to go visit your family, you know, on the holidays and, you know, be miserable. Now, moving forward, it's like, you know, if you want to take a trip across, you know, the world for the holiday season, you know, and maybe do that every year if you can afford it, that's your, your new tradition, you know, for the holiday season. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Um... I do feel like eventually once things kind of go back to normal, by 2022, I'll say, there could be a slight issue, once again, as we already know, with, like, drunk driving. So I do want to say be careful with that. Because um, there feels, like, also, like, a rebel spirit, too, as well, with, like, the holiday season. There's something like that. It's, like, because there's a, there's a sense of individualism, that sense of, well, we can do what we want. You know, it's like with that, you know, with the good comes the bad as well, right? So there's like that energy. Um, I just feel, I just feel like we're going to see a rise in non-traditional holiday events, like... <clears throat> Trying to think of an example. Like, I don't know, for example, when it like when it comes to like maybe Christmas or something like that, you know how Christmas used to be about giving gifts, it's like it now becomes the gift is helping you to prosper. So it's like maybe in the past where I would have given you an Xbox, I'm now going to give you an investment in stocks or something like that or an investment in Microsoft. 
it's like there's something like that where it's like it feels more progressive. It feels like a more progressive holiday season as well. Where like, you know, I don't know why I feel like, you know, seeing we're going to see things like that on social media. Like for Christmas this year, my dad bought me a, a restaurant, a business, you know, property or my husband or whatever, you know, like it's like that. Like that's going to be the new goal. I feel like I know this is really weird or maybe it doesn't sound weird. I don't know. But that's the energy I get. So, it's gonna be like, I feel like almost like the holiday season flips on its head too, where like, once again, I just feel this energy of like, it's, it, it may not be so bad to like, or it may not be so looked down upon to spend the holiday season alone, to spend Christmas alone. But it's like I see people maybe who are used to surrounding themselves with others or who are used to, like, just being surrounded by people, especially maybe wealthy people who may have to spend the holidays alone or something like that. Like, it's like there's something like that where, and then the people who have been used to spending the holidays alone, it just becomes not so bad for them anymore after the virus, you know, it's like, it just becomes normal. So I don't know if the holidays are going to be really big, as big as they used to be as time goes on. Because there's also the economy factor here as well, where I think it's going to take time for the economy to really come back around. And once again, there's something where, like, there's a shift in property, investments, stocks, bonds. Rather than spending useless money on, like, presents that are only going to last six months, if that. You know, it's like, people, I feel like consumers, the public is going to start to wise up and realize, you know, this is really just, like, about, ultimately, like, consumerism. You know, so I feel like the consumerism is going to be taken out of the holiday season by the people. Whereas it was first, you know, put in place by the government or the people in power. Right. But of obviously, you know, the people in power are losing power. So therefore, the holiday season somehow loses its meaning a little bit, becomes less traditional becomes less about consumerism and more about investing in family, each other. This is our new home. This is your new car on the holiday season. It's like stuff like that. Is this making sense to anyone or am I just like crazy? I don't know. That's what I get. So I guess let's pull a card. I don't know how long I've been on here. Like, I just see people spending their, like, Christmas in Starbucks, you know, like, on their computer the whole day and, like, just chatting away. And it's, like, normal. It's fine. It's like, oh, it's it's just Christmas, you know, like, it is what it is. There'll be, there'll be another one next year or, you know, next, I don't know, next month, you know, my, me and my family are getting together anyway. Who cares? It's just, like, there's going to be less of an emphasis on Christmas needs to be perfect. Thanksgiving needs to be perfect. We have to follow tradition. You know, it's just, like, not going to be that. Okay, what message does Spirit have for us about the holidays and the virus? My hair is getting on my nerves. Okay. Okay. You're messing up the vibe. There we go. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you guys. I didn't even realize that was all still on there. All right. One card. Let's get one card for the holidays and the virus. The holidays and the virus. Ooh, this is a good one. Can you see? The Magician.
Mm. Wow. The magician. You know what they say about the magician. The, magi the magician has everything they already need. The magician has the wand. The magician has the pentacle. The magician has the sword. Um, the magician, the magician has the cup. And if you know anything about tarot, uh, tarot is comprised, well, at least the rider weight is comprised of the cups, the wands, the swords, and the pentacles. The magician is also about change, enacting your own change, creating your own traditions, new traditions. The magician can be about not necessarily following rules as well, right? Traditional rules. The magician can also be an energy of things turning on their head, right? So it seems like to me, the energy-wise, and this isn't going to be across the board for everyone, it seems like for some reason, the energy I get is that like during on the holiday season the rich seem to get to experience what the poor felt or used used to feel when it comes to the holidays whatever that means i'm not sure this could be mean like literally wealth in terms of wealth or this could mean in terms of other things I think it becomes less about things in the holidays and once again more about creating your own memories. Creating memories during the holiday season. That's what I get. Um, I don't know why I get the holiday season could actually be a good time to actually do magic. Specifically if you want to enact change in your life. Whatever the holiday season means to you as well. So you might want to light your candles you know, on Christmas. You might want to light your candles on Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or Thanksgiving. Uh, Valentine's Day. Whatever, whatever holidays are there. Um, Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> right. Um, St. Patrick's Day. Now I'm just thinking of American holidays. You know, anyway. You get what I mean. Might be a good time to connect with your ancestors. On those days. Those special days. Right? Non-traditional people, this is what it's about. Non-traditional. Not following traditions anymore. We're not following traditions on the holiday season. I do not feel bad about spending the holidays alone for the first time in 2020. I thought I was going to. I literally had like a whole crisis a month ago. And I went to my fav my one of my favorite, you know, psychic slash friend. I don't, I don't really feel... She's more of a friend than anything. House of Stars. And I was like, oh my god, I think I'm going to have to spend, you know, the, the holidays alone this year. What am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. Like, I have family all over the place, and I don't know what I, It's just like, I was freaking out. And then Thanksgiving comes, and I'm just like, oh, well, it's actually not that bad. Not traditional. It's just me and my cat today. But even in me spending Thanksgiving alone, I can still create my own traditions. Which starts with my outfit. So next year I'm going to wear an even better outfit, whether I'm alone or not, period. I have to top this outfit. But that's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun tradition. So what are your holiday traditions that you're going to create for yourself? It can be something small, like for me, my outfit, but you can build on it each year, right? So it doesn't have to be so bad, does it? 
Now it's interesting because the magician is also wearing red and white. And you guys know I'm all about symbolism. And also in the flowers, there's red and white flowers. Red can mean passion. Red can mean anger. Red can mean... Why is it not focusing? Red can mean... Um, actions. Fast movement. That kind of energy. White can mean purity, peace, um, angelic vibes. Red can also mean fire, which is those candles, lighting your candles. Because the angels are hearing you, the angels are speaking, maybe speaking to you, through you. Y'all need to light your candles on the holidays, especially if you have people over. Y'all better be lighting them candles. I'm telling you. Wow, I love this reading, Facebook. So that is my reading on the holidays and the virus. Thank you for listening and watching. If you would like a reading from me, once again, check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. Make sure you follow me on my Facebook, on my Twitter. Wait, I don't have Twitter. On my Twitch, on my Instagram, and my <clears throat> TikTok, at Lamar Townsend Tarot. And thank you for listening and watching. I'll see you in my next video. Love and light.